Hey everyone, my name is Luca Pretolesi. We are in Las Vegas. This is Studio DMI. To be more precise, this is Studio I. It's our hybrid mixing and mastering room. This room has been built, I would say in the past 12 years, changing configuration. And now we came to this hybrid setup based on a three bay desk. I've been with Studio One, I think from 2017. And I think the key point, the trigger was pipeline. So back then I was trying to uh, improve the configuration of my analog gear versus in the box. And the selling point to me was pipeline as a plugin, be able to even parallel in the box with analog gear and have a perfect compensation, make sure there was no even phasing issues. So that was kind of like the, to me, the way to get into Studio One. And then I fell in love with the DAW. For modern music, dance music or pop music, anything, you want to have a, a DAW that is very versatile. I think back then it was a big distinction between, I use a mastering DAW to do mastering, a mixing DAW to do mixing and recording. I think today the flexibility to dive into a song and just be able to do some additional production work or some mastering work at the end has to be done on the same DAW. This past year has been incredible for the studio, amazing projects going from dance music to pop to hip hop to electronic music in general but probably one of the most exciting album has been Honestly Nevermind for Drake. The entire album is a co-mixing experience between me and Fori. His experience, he understand Drake vocal, he understand the starting point of the production, I understand where we want to take this production, and the idea was to just send back and forth steps. So process on Studio One, work with my flow, work on my template, print stamps, send it back, before he does his own touch, send it back to me, and do final stamp mixing and mastering on the album. That was kind of the flow. Studio One, it's a production, a mixing, a mastering, even a recording though, right? So in a project like Honestly Nevermind, you wanna be able to keep the album open till the last minute. On Studio One, I have a flow where I go by color, position on the session where it's not necessary to even read the name of the stem. I know the flow. I know how to navigate really quick and stay on the creative side of mixing. All right, let me open Sticky from Drake uh, session. This session is hybrid. I'm bussing out on Studio One through my rig, 16 analog out through two summing devices and I capture in real time. And when I do that, I like to print back on Studio One the result. So in case of Sticky, I literally post conversion, apply some processing on my stereo bus in the box, listening in real time the result of Studio One going out to analog, capture through our gear, coming back and listening post conversion. Certain things that I did always follow the flow of my template on Studio One. In this case, Drake lead vocal on pink. And then we have the yellow, which is the print or delay and reverbs that I received from 40. There's a quite of a lot of automations on the session, especially on micro little automation on transients. Also add a VCA bus to control my analog busing. So simply reducing the level of my outputs with a VCA bus, I'm able to control the dynamic of the entire analog side of the mix. The mastering side of this song is extremely simple. The entire track is being recorded back in Studio One after summing and monitoring post-conversion, I was able to add additional plugin just to finalize the mix. Now, having the song being printed back into the session is a great way to archive the song on one space, one DAW for mixing and mastering. All right, let's dive into Studio One V6. I'm gonna scratch the surface. There is way more, but just let me highlight a few of the first things that really catch my attention. All right, usually when I create a, a sand reverb, I just drag into my sand. This way I'm creating 
bus. How cool is that? Assigned to the same bus, so base into base. And let's check it out. Now, normally, this is my sand on the river, right? Now we can flip the fader. How cool is that? Love it. And we can, of course, look to panning. We can open the channel overview. So we have this apply to the overview of the channel. We can write notes, make the base better and, and way more. So working on the channel overview is also a way to literally have your Q mix, your send, your insert, your level in one single page. So I can insert additional plugin from the same page. I also like the fact that I can keep, in this case, a plugin open and at the same time, open a channel overview on the same page. Love it. So, if we want to go back and uh, turn off fairy flip, now we are back on the original position. Second great functionality that catch my attention is the three modes of panning. You can go from balance, you can go from jewel, which this is a new addition of Studio 1.6, where I can lower one side versus the other side. That's pretty cool and even binaural a percentage base it's really really cool and then i can just like click and i'm back out of this super fast i already mentioned channel overview uh, this is something you can also open multiple in this case open my kick but at the same time i want to open my stereo bus and i want to open my vocal bus this way I can highlight different channel, including all the scents. Those are my sidechain scent. It's a great way to optimize your work. And again, you want to stay on a state of flow. Interesting the fact that you can have an overview of your EQ right there on the channel overview. I can't even so fast, so quick. Now, if I decide I want to stay on the EQ, but I have a more accurate view, I can, of course, open the plugin. So now we have the actual EQ and we have the channel overview. Talking about EQ, Pro-Q is get even better. We solo per band and we dynamic on each band. So be able to turn from static EQ to dynamic with this flow and this speed is very cool. I think it's probably the best plugin EQ in a DAW format. The sidechain has been improved on Studio One version six. From the actual plugin, you can pick the send and the output now, which is great. I like to use Studio One sidechain on internal Studio One plugin or third party plugins, I like the speed to actually use multiple inputs sometimes as a source for sidechain, especially between drum and bass. I like to use kick as well, low percussion to trigger bass, which is really great. I can also use my bussing system as a sidechain for my compressor. On V6 now, we can unlock panning, lock panning on the send which is great. We can lock pan to channel and it's follow the panning of the channel or we can unlock panning and do the own panning on the send, which is great if we use on reverb delay. This will make our life easier and create options. The copy and paste of a channel settings to other channel is getting even faster and better. I do common C 
Now I'm gonna apply this on multiple channel. There we go, so quick. Go back. That's a great functionality. I love using this, especially on vocals. When I have a stack of vocals, I wanna really quick test the same settings in different takes, it's fantastic. One of the highlights on Studio One 6 for my work, and this will save so much time, is be able to export one file on different format from the session. So I wanna have a WAV file, I wanna have an MP3 file, I wanna have like a Spotify version, I can pick say a Spotify, and then one click and I have multiple version. This multiplied on one year of work, this will save me like weeks, it's fantastic. Based on your production style, there's way more you can do with V6. I'm literally scratching the surface on what really it's important for my workflow, but there's way more. PreSonus Studio One 6 is unbelievable. I thought that I find the best DAW, the perfect DAW, and the perfect dot is get even better. There's so many new function, new ideas. For me, what catches my attention is Pro-Q Dynamic. It's pretty incredible. Is the channel overview. I want to stay in one place and have control of everything. And the sidechain that I thought was the best sidechain possible in a DAW format is get even better and faster. I recommend to dig deeper on Studio One 6 based on your skills. You are a producer, you're a mixer engineer, you're a master engineer, you'll find anything you like. This is Luca Pretolesi, at Studio DMI in Las Vegas. Bye.